Hello, Nomads Cult, and this is a version 191 feature. So there's now vertex and grid snapping for the tube tool and the other curves. So let's see here. Here is an example with a with a tube. And here you find uh, for the tube here the snapping option and now when you press on it you can change between vertex snapping and surface snapping. So surface snapping is the old behavior, it snaps on the, on the surface of the other object and when you change it to vertex, so it now snaps on the vertex position of the other mesh. So now you can position um, the tube exactly on a other mesh. Okay, so this also works for the um, for the curve repeater, um, and so maybe we set here a curve repeater in this position or. Maybe like this here. So and now I add a, on the gizmo position a sphere. You see here um, the sphere is now exactly on, on the vertex position and let's change it to 4. So you see here, the snapping works. Okay, <coughs> so I delete this, I delete everything. So now let's uh, create a new tube and here I create the path. And I think now it's also possible, um, this is also new again. Um, sorry, for the for the nodes here, you can press inside the um, the thing here, but undo doesn't work. Okay, so and you can press here outside of the curve. Uh, undo is not okay. It so okay. So this is our tube. And at the moment, there's no snapping here. So here, the front, so maybe lock the front and then activate here uh, the grid, here the grid. In, in this view, here the, the snapping for the grid works. So here you see the snapping. And now it's possible to uh, create such um, uh, tubes. And so maybe here I snap it again. So now we can work. like this and now you have a straight tube so um, in this view here um, when the view is uh, not straight then the snapping is off it only works um, in straight views so like this here front now the snapping works okay the next thing is here I validate this thing here and the snapping also works, I think, for the for the trim tool, I think here. So uh, polygon. Uh, it works only, I think, only for the polygon tool here. Um, so now here the grid snapping works. So. 
like this. And here you see here um, this magnet sim symbol or icon. Here you can deselect it. So press this one, and now the here it's now yellow, or yeah. <laughs> so and now the snapping is um, off. So here snapping on. Okay. So is there something to know about the snapping thing? Yeah, also for the lace tool it's possible. Um, sorry, I delete um, this. Here lace is also possible. So here the snapping works. So let's test it. Yeah, you see here the grid snapping works and it's fine. Okay, uh, did I forgot something? Mm. The lace, yeah, and I think lace also works with vertex snapping, but I'm not sure. Um, so let's add a box. Maybe here like this. And I change back to the lace tool. So no, there's no vertex snapping. It's only grid snapping. So only the grid snapping works. Okay. Yeah, you know where to find it now. So it's a nice feature, I think. Um, Okay, that's it. Have fun with sculpting. Ciao.